Vancouver's Doug Bennett seems like an odd character for a rock musician. He's the wrong size, the wrong shape. He wears a tux with a clip-on bow tie, and he has short, well-mannered hair, like mine, only more of it. Um, yet he's called the father of paunch rock. And the slugs, who are the other half of the enterprise, are equally unpredictable. Bennett once defined the group's sound as your basic rock and roll with a certain Kafkaesque, grassroots, Pavlovian, existential, Calvinistic, Zen, New York liberal Jewish intellectual slant to it. I guess that about sums it up, sums up everything. Whatever else, they're the latest Canadian contenders for international rock stardom, and they're a pillar of Vancouver's exploding rock scene. Well, you can have pillars of rock, can't you? And I've even seen exploding scenes, especially when you hire a good promoter, as Doug Bennett did. So you figure now that uh, by hiring Harry Hammer, you're going to get the furniture crowd out to your dancing? I think so. I think so. Yeah. Well, I think he gets it. You know, every one of us sleeps on a mattress, I hope. <laughs> and they put on my records to, but, to but sleep you know, on the mattress. You that's know, right. A bit of wine. You're right, Doug. But you know the candles. unique thing about Doug? It's very simple. He has impeccable judgment when he made the decision <laughs> to use me. That's all. Okay, and what do you think about Harry Hammer? Does he have impeccable judgment in accepting the offer? I think so. I mean, it shows a man has a sense of humor, you know. Anybody can wear a satin jacket like that, you know. He must have a sense That's of humor. Right. My name is Harry Hammer. Thank you. As a matter of fact, at my age, I'm happy to be anywhere. Young people recognize Harry Hammer as a person who is basically honest and says it like it is. And that's what Doug is doing. He's saying like it is within the context of the subculture that is meaningful to him and his audience. It was like the Who have Schlitz beer, uh, Loverboy has Datsun, uh, Doug and the Slugs have Harry Hammer, Furniture King. Making it work takes a little longer. Making it work takes a bit of time. Making it work takes a little longer. Making it work takes a bit of time, darling. Our reporter there in Vancouver was Fred Causian. He tells me that Doug and the Slugs have a six-album contract with the RCA Victor in New York. Here's one of them. It's called Rapid. And that's what I'm about to do for this week. Come again. Tell them Maver Moore sent you.